I think that I think you're annoying. Really? A yeah. little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what what made me what makes you think that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was it's just, gonna be like a therapy session. Yeah. You were the one that came back and said that you felt hurt. I do feel hurt because I feel like you got pissed off at me. Well, that's what happens when you have real reactions when you're being phony. Do you think right you're now? being real? I'm just trying to be you. I mean, I'm supposed to be connected with you as fucking Mish Bucha right now, but like you're coming at me, so I'm curious. He thinks I'm Jewish. You are, aren't you? No. Oh, take a lap, bro. Just say how you honestly feel. Don't. I feel good, bro. I think you're pretty. You don't funny. feel good. You don't feel good. You feel insecure right now because you think I don't like you. Andrew Schultz and Steiny had the weirdest and perhaps most entertaining podcast beef of 2023 a few months ago. Andrew Schultz got so triggered he went after Steiny like a vegan goes after a salad. Andrew Schultz is known for making harsh jokes with his comedic style, and Steiny is known for often irritating people because he has no talent and due to his connections is now the host of one of the biggest podcasts full send with the Nelk Boys. It all started with the manager of the Nelk Boys hinting on Stephen Graham's podcast that there was an episode that wasn't released because Andrew was roasting Steiny. And it got so out of hand that Steiny didn't want the podcast to be released. You guys ever shoot podcasts and not post them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a sore subject. But yeah, there was one. Can you say who? You can't. Yeah, no, well, Maybe. Steve said it and Steiny got mad that Steve said it. So that's the only reason I want to say it. But there was an episode with Andrew Schultz. And, um, oh, whoa. And um, man, start, sorry, Steinberg, man. I love you, bro. Like, don't, don't text me middle of the night upset. But Schultz went after it. Like, you know, I think, you know, when like a stand up comedian like looks in the crowd and decides like just go after somebody. Yeah. Well, I think like Schultz was kind of like went after Steiny. <laughs> And, he, um, and it, it was pretty awkward. So this clip is like the ultimate tease. You got this episode so juicy, so raw, everyone is dying to see it, but it's under lock and key. And so of course this interview went viral and everybody demanded to see this unreleased pod. Andrew Schultz confirmed that the podcast existed and gave his blessings to make the podcast public. He poured some more oil on the fire by saying things like, he doesn't think that anybody has gone further in showbiz with less talent than Steiny. Nelk, release the pod. Oh, oh release shit. the pod, Nelk. <laughs> it's time for war, Nelk. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so I think it was just like, and then I think maybe Steiny asked me one, one more question and it could have been genuine from him, but it felt like trolling. <laughs> and I was like, who is this chicken McNugget asking me <laughs> <laughs> like, like, who is this when guy? I'm trying, but, you know, I don't think anybody has gone further in entertainment with less talent than this kid. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> I'm like, where does he get off trolling? Like, you know what I mean? Like, where does he get off trolling? So Andrew calls Steiny a chicken McNugget and went from roasting to deep frying him. And it actually worked because the Nelk boys released 80 minutes of the podcast. And we finally got to see what happened. There was this big debate if Steiny was just being a drama queen or if Andrew went full Mike Tyson for for no good reason. Adam22 being the guy doing anything for clout invites Steiny on the No Jumper podcast and starts saying that the whole thing was basically Andrew Schultz's fault, which in my opinion is complete bullshit. But I do think this was a great strategy from Adam because this allowed Steiny to open up more about the situation, how he felt about what happened. Your version of the Jason Love controversy was the Andrew Schultz controversy. <laughs> the whole world kind of got to see you get on camera yeah that sucked bro <laughs> are you lie. like were you actually genuinely worried about them releasing it i watched the whole thing today okay and before that i had just seen clips and kind of like heard about it and then today i watched the whole thing my thoughts on it i've known andrew schultz for a long time and that from the beginning felt like a different version of andrew schultz than what i've seen before like i feel like he was not in a great mood that day, even outside of whatever happened between you guys. I just don't really feel like that was, that just wasn't the Andrew Schultz that I'm just used to seeing. And After you know, a while, I did just start to feel like, this is just like a level of aggression I'm not used to seeing from Andrew. And it just doesn't really, something feels off. And it was know. sort of like yeah. the easy to pick on you thing that you're For saying sure. with the Nelk guys that sort of 
He's not going to go at Kyle or Steve, right? Yeah, and that wasn't fair because you were the one who I felt like was talking the most. Is what we just said the mainstream opinion that you've seen, or do you think that most people thought that Andrew Schultz was right to be annoyed by you? I think this is a great strategy from Adam because it now opens up Steiny to talk about what really happened that day. And Steiny reveals that they didn't actually prepare the interview that well because they were doing events that day and had no time to prepare, which explains the bad line of questioning. Well, I mean, there's there's two things, right? Like my persona of my character is like like you said whatever the word was the whipping the thing. whipping <laughs> so like people people like to go at me and, shit and like people like to fuck with me mm -hmm. and whatever in the comments whatever it is we got noticed that we were going to do that like maybe six hours before mm. uh, and we were doing happy dad events all day so we were burnt out like 8 a.m to 5 p.m and then we when i walked into i just the energy felt like kind of odd but yeah, I don't know what really happened. Like, I, I really can't explain that because I thought with Nelk, you always think like, especially me, I'm like, yo, these guys might be f***ing with me. And so we also have his co-host Kyle trying to downplay the bad questioning by saying it was just a podcast where they wanted to chill with the boys. But with this one, it was kind of, I think, our first time having a comedian on. We kind of wanted to treat it like our boys only episodes where it's our internals and we kind of just chill and fucking bro down and like talk about whatever's going on in the world and we thought that would be a good way to do shulls we saw his video and i guess he felt like we were asking him generic questions or like we weren't kind of we didn't know anything about him which i understand his point of view so they're saying that andrew was the one complaining and that he wasn't himself that day and the energy felt odd and they don't know what really happened and he was targeting steiny for no reason well that's not really true andrew was actually the one carrying the whole podcast because the Nelk boys were, like Steiny just explained, just out of it, completely unprepared and distracted. Andrew calls out this nervous energy and even suggests to have a drink so they all can loosen up. And then so I, did that one I time. feel like we regret. need to be a little more up. You guys are yeah, a little yeah. nervous. Or something. Every Get him drunk. You take like, a shot. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Yeah, I'm you can test oh, Andrew Tate the top. I yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put this shit. In. Don't put your fingers in the cup. I'm not gonna finger blast your cup, bro. You don't. Wait, you don't believe in finger blasting? So there are some random bits like these where Steiny is ex exuding this nervous energy and is basically useless. So Andrew tries to carry this podcast by talking about being married and that he has been trying to get kids for a few months now with his wife. And for those who follow Andrew, they know that he's been struggling to make a baby and has shared some of his struggles. Kind of pouring his heart out, talking about this private and difficult subject. And Steiny just makes these insensitive weird remarks that Andrew can't make a baby. Andrew tries to change the subject if they have girlfriends, but Steiny then gives this weird answer of living an NBA player lifestyle, being on the road, and not using a condoms for the girls he's meeting in all these different cities. The way Steiny behaves is drastically shaping Andrew's perception of him during these first 45 minutes, before the situation really explodes. I want to have kids badly. My wife and I are trying to have kids. So yeah. What's holding that up? Uh, <laughs> you can't produce eggs you know what i mean <laughs> nah bro we just started like nice. a month or two but yeah who knows i gotta get my checked out how long have you guys been married no it's about committing a hundred percent what about in 10 years would you regret that if like god forbid yeah if god forbid it went i'll be like yeah this is f but then that's the risk you take you guys don't have girls not at the moment nah no it's kind I, of, you know. I mean you're 38 right 39 39 we're yeah. a little bit younger how old we're are you still, we're not that young though. i'm 28 yeah I'm 28 Me too but you could have a girlfriend. You don't we have could. to, you know. Yeah, mains, but we're always on the road. Mm -hmm. It's like that NBA lifestyle. Yeah. So it's a little tough. Yeah. You can't stay loyal. There's NBA. problems. Well, I don't know. Yeah. You when the players on the road, like an NBA player. Right? Well, yeah. when they're on yeah. the road yeah. and you got chicks, I don't know. You go to different cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> like yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like you tell me you have an IUD, then I'm then nutting you're in just you. Letting it rock. Yeah. Oh, really? Is you that a bad take? You think? What if if they got an IUD? If they say, "Yo, I got an IUD," and you just let it fly. Um, NBA. <laughs> do you? Uh, yeah, you fucking like an NBA player. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I I would I would wear condoms. Why not just pull out? You like nutting inside? If they say IUD, you like that? It's say less. Yeah. Really. So 45 minutes pass by with a little back and forth and the occasional weird Steiny moment. But then Steiny really messes up by looking at his phone mid-interview. And this really triggered Andrew. They tried to downplay it that the alcohol got them buzzed. And Kyle tries to save Steiny by asking if he was looking at notes for questions he was trying to ask Andrew. Empathy for that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. 
I think we lost him. <laughs> I don't even know where I was going to go. Where are we at? I have no idea. You know What bothers you the most right now? Nothing. Nothing bothers you? You look at your phone while we're doing this interview, <laughs> and everybody's seeming disinterested. Were you and looking at notes or, or, or texting girls? Notes. Notes. Yeah. I'm try- what do you mean? Me taking time out of my day to do this and then feeling Dude, like I've I'm never forcing been... you guys to do the podcast. I've never been more <laughs> excited to do me. a podcast. Say again? I've never been more excited. I'm sorry. I don't look apologize. You no. don't have to apologize. You asked me what annoyed me, and I gave you an honest answer. Wait, are you being serious about that? Yeah. That annoyed me. So if someone is that no- surprising to you? Well, if I'm looking at my notes, I have some things personally that I wrote that I wanted to ask you. Not on okay. there. Okay. So I can't look at that and then ask you that? I mean, you can, I guess. What if someone in the audience is on their phone when you're doing that? Then they're going to get the same treatment you got. Did, would you call them out? Yes. Have you done that before? Yes. And how's that reaction? Good. My fault. There's no fault. It's fine. You asked me how I felt. I gave you an honest reaction. All right, my bad. Steiny says that he was looking at notes, but if that was true, he wouldn't have said, um, so where are we at right now? Being confused where they are in the conversation. You would expect him to be focused on the conversation to ask his question that he just looked up in his notes. And this gets confirmed by Steiny himself because he's so buzzed by the alcohol that he can't keep his story straight and later actually admits that he was texting someone. Or how about this? Do you think that I gave you a fair shot in the beginning? You did, but I, I sent a text during the pod and I think that's when it turned. Checking your phone mid-interview to text someone when somebody has been carrying the conversation and doing your job for 45 minutes straight is just rude. It's a sign of disrespect. And Andrew again just calls out the weirdness of it all, letting everybody know that this isn't his favorite interview. I saw him make a comment at a press conference where he was like, yo, I'm going to do a TikTok dance once I beat you. Yeah. And that really just like made me not a fan way. anymore. Why? This, you is- do TikToks like three times. I know but i'm not like a day i'm not a ufc warrior bro like i'm I'm trying to understand like is this your character are you like the hater or something like what's (laughs) who am i hating on i'm I'm just like i'm trying to understand like you're you're hating on izzy for doing tiktok dances when you do tiktok no like i love i love justin poirier like i'm trying to understand what it is like you're gonna have to see him bro that's fine are you trying to get that's what it is remember i told you the comics trying to get oh you think i'm that guy that's what What, what gives you that read everyone is a girl trend Yeah, so what? No, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with it. You should. Maximize it, bro. You're short. No, we're talking about the no, we're Twitter verification. Are you guys friends with each other? Yeah. Like, genuinely? Why, you don't get that vibe? Yeah. No. Why not? Because the chemistry is weird. Why do you say that? I don't know. It's just, I like, I don't get it. Yeah, well, we usually have a different guy who sits in. Yeah. We wanted to have Steve on this one. So yeah, he said with in. Brad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love Brad, too. Yeah? He's great. And what, Brad usually drives it or something like that? What do you mean? Like, is he usually driving the interview? Why? Not really. I mean, it's not my favorite. <laughs> is this a joke? I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, right? I got I don't know. Like, do you guys, are you guys having a good time? I am, I was seriously. until that comment. Is this what it's that... normally like? No. I mean, I was having a good time. Okay. So at this point, even Steiny's own crew is telling him he's being insecure and that he's making it worse for himself. And things then get interesting because Steiny leaves for a little bit and then comes back, seemingly still agitated, and then starts confronting Andrew why he was picking on him. It's like watching a comedy version of David versus Goliath, except David forgot his slingshot. I feel bad. I feel like you came at me a little bit there. Why do you feel bad? I just feel like you targeted me. Did you or no? Why'd I you thought you were just being a little annoying. How? I think that I think you're annoying. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And what, what made me, what makes you think that? I don't know. Oh, it's going to be like a therapy session. Yeah. Now. I mean, what the. F- Are you, I, I don't know if you're playing a character or you're having like an insecure moment. If you're having a vulnerable, insecure moment, then I want to like no, talk about it. No, I mean, I'm it. kind of playing something, but what? Oh, if you're what, playing what something. What did I say that triggered well, you to no, say that? Oh, wait, what did, I, what did I do that pissed you off? I wouldn't say I was pissed off. Why would you say? Or what did I do that annoyed you? You were the one that came back and said that you felt hurt. I do feel hurt because I feel like you got pissed off at me. Well, that's what happens when you have real reactions when you're being phony. What, when when, when was you're I phony? phony with somebody when and then you I get a real reaction, you? you can't be upset. When was I phony but with But you're you? doing exactly what you should do. You should try to get your moments. This is a good moment for you. Even the way your voice sounds when you say it isn't real. Are you serious Do you think right you're now? being real? I'm Just trying to be I you. mean, I'm supposed to be connected with you as Mish Bucha right now, but like you're coming at me, so I'm curious. He thinks I'm Jewish. You are, aren't you? No. Oh, oh no, you're done. <laughs> Take a laugh. <laughs> Don't take a lot, bro. <laughs> you would do this to your Jewish brother, huh? 
No, never. Wow. That we roll like wow. that. Wow. But I do, I do sense that you're playing a bit of a character and I don't have as much of a tolerance for characters as I do for authenticity. You don't think I'm being authentic? I think in certain moments you were and that kind of like irritates me. That's okay. But can you give me an example of when you felt that I was I playing think a that, I think you need attention. I think you're doing anything you can to get attention. And right now you're making this podcast about you, which is the most boring part of the conversation. For interesting people to discuss whose lives are more fascinating. No. no. I don't ever want to do a podcast again, straight up. You might have just retired him. No, straight no, up. I Why the fuck would I ever do this shit again? Straight no. up. Got it. Well, thank you so much for hurting my self-esteem and probably <laughs> keeping me inside tonight. Hope you have a great night. Even that's not real. So Steiny is just failing all over the place, thinking Andrew is Jewish. Again, just showing how unprepared he was for this interview. Steiny says that he is 28 years old, but it feels like he is missing 20 years of life experience. And if you thought it couldn't get any worse, prepare yourselves. Steiny does the most dumbest thing and says they don't even need to have the mics on, implying that he wants to fight Andrew. And this actually triggers the crew to stop the podcast because they have seen Steiny cause enough damage. How, how long you been doing this? Uh, entertainment? A while. I think you're a smart don't dude. Get, don't get Charles going, bro. No, I want to get him going. I do you're think, gonna get, you're, I gonna do get think you're a smart guy. Okay. I do think you're a smart dude. Sure. I, I, I genuinely mean that. Take we're, this out. We're all doing this for some sort of self-benefit. That's why we're talking sure, to microphones. But I do this because I actually it enjoy it. Putting it on YouTube. Is that if you were being your truest, purest, most authentic self, I think you would have behaved differently in the podcast. And you would have got a different behavior from me. I'm not out here to bully someone who feels like insecure. Like, I think that's the worst thing ever. I think that if somebody feels insecure and they're pretending to be something they're not, you know, that's what it is. But I think you need to find yourself a little, man. Where did this take this turn? We don't even have to have the mics on, bro. Well, how about this? I mean, everyone's screaming we gotta go i think here, we gotta guys. wrap up i think we gotta wrap but, up uh, and so this is what gets me this podcast was released a few months ago but it was filmed a year ago in november 2022 and steiny had all this time to think and his big brain solution how he would have handled this situation better is calling out andrew for being disrespectful while he was the one glued to his phone but then it just took a turn where i was like yo this guy's getting a little personal people don't really know this but this was that was a year ago that yeah. was filmed so long ago and that was one of my not first episodes but i was still early in the game right um and so i didn't really know how to handle it i think i would have handled it differently now you, i was just so confused you would have punched him if it happened now. no i just think i would have been like bro like like in my opinion if if someone came in and was sitting in this chair and talked to you like that right. on your own show you'd be like yo bro like you're being super disrespectful right now. So what boggles my mind is that Steiny already tried to call out Andrew and got roasted. So Steiny learned exactly nothing from this whole thing. And Steiny then even goes further that Andrew had this master plan of going after him because he was the easier target. Something I realized, I think a lot of these people come in kind of like knowing. Like that guy, like Andrew definitely came in and did his research, right? He knows like everyone loves Steve. Kyle's the boss, <laughs> and then there's me, right? So he knew to kind of throw shade at me. Um, but like, uh, bro, like, I, I don't know. I, I To this day, I can't really explain that. So it's crazy to me that Steiny is sitting there with Adam22 and says Andrew did his homework, figuring out the group dynamics and decided Steiny is the easy target to go after. This is just what happens when you're in front of someone like Andrew Schultz and you treat him like background noise. He will do what he does best and roast your dumb ass. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what's funny about Andrew, and I love Andrew for the record, but like... So you're siding with him? One, well, no, but one of the accusations about him that I've seen, I saw like one of these comedy uh, commentary channels like make a video about this the other day, but basically like saying that Andrew plays like a fake version of himself on the podcast where he thinks that everything that everybody says on flagrant is f***ing hilarious or brilliant. So it's like... That like, he gets some criticism for that. I don't know how widespread that criticism is. So basically, like people will say that that Andrew plays like an exaggerated version of himself on flagrant, which I have myself have kind of noticed that like sometimes I'll notice him like laughing, and it's like he thinks that the joke is funnier than the joke actually is. But it's okay because it's a podcast and it's like you got to keep the energy going and everything. But I kind of felt like your exchange with him there was like the exact opposite of that. Like he yeah. he kind of like chose to like take a more negative you know side of things which I, I, i'm not really like used to that from him no i but like you don't see him go on that many podcasts right like have you seen him uh, besides rogan so i think uh 
I don't, I, bro, like, I don't know if it was his ego or like he just wanted to come at me, but I, to this day, I don't, I don't really understand it. I'm not upset about it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have taken it at the time. I took it personal. I was like, bro, why is this guy and going so ham at me? Like you said, like, yeah, I'm not asking you the craziest intellectual questions. I'm just trying to like actually like have a conversation. So, do you feel like it coming out was net positive or negative for Steiny? The brand? positive, dude. I think mean, it was good overall. Yeah. Put more attention on you, and you feel like overall you kind of came out looking better than him. When you search for Andrew Schultz interview, you can see him on many other podcasts. So the argument that he only does Joe Rogan's podcast is complete nonsense. As a podcast host himself, Adam22 knows that world inside and out and knows that Andrew has been featured as a guest on multiple podcasts. Adam even featured Andrew as a guest on his own No Jumper podcast. So Adam22 not calling out Steiny makes me think he's playing a character just to get views and get Steiny to talk. It's crazy to see Steiny is not taking any responsibility, which makes me think he's either a genius, milking this beef till the last drop, or is just a truly hopeless case.